No. Oh, no. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> That's frustrating. Hi, Alex. All right, we got uh, one minute before we get started. I'm going to change the music. Do you mind locking the door? All right, I can't hear you guys, so tell me what volume is. You're good. Too, too loud? More? Higher? How you doing, Alex? Good. Good, thanks. Nice to see you. All right, so starting our warm up in about one minute, we're going to start with some butt kicks. We're gonna do just 30 seconds of different exercises as usual. We're just changing up those exercises. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're on your bike, if you are on your jump rope, or if you wanna join me in some butt kicks, happy Sunday. A lot of EMOMs today, some full body to start, full body to finish, and in between, we'll do some lower body and then specific local upper body work. Right. All right, right into some squats. I took yesterday off from the gym and went on a long run, so my body is having some different achy feels than normal. All right, come down to the ground. Let's get into some mountain climbers for the next 30 seconds. Drawing your knees into your chest. You'll need maybe two sets of dumbbells, lighter and a heavier weight kettlebell, or a heavy weight if you have one, your mat, and a bench. All right, coming back up to standing, right into high knees. Hello, Jeff, are you just joining us? All right. Slowing it down, we're just gonna go some lateral stretches side to side. So as you do this, think about keeping your chest up, sit back, like you're trying to sit on a little chair. This can be as slow as you need to to really feel into that stretch. All right, coming back up, we're going into some jumping jacks. Jeff, I just ran by your house the other day. I always look for you now out there playing football. I'm already dying, babe. <laughs> you got this, Kim. All right, right back into those butt kicks in three. Two and one. Can you get your heel tapping right to your butt? In 10 seconds, we're going back to those body weight squats. If you feel like you need to get a little more, make it a jump squat for the next 30 seconds. In three. Two, one. So as we get started on our first segment, it's going to be a 16 minute EMOM. 
four exercises. So we've got four total rounds. We're starting with six fitness makers, 20 kettlebell swings, 20 ground to overhead, and 20 Russian twists. So as you go through that first round, I want you to figure out what rep count works for you to allow you about 15 seconds of rest before we start the next move. All right, the last 60 seconds is yours to warm up. You can come back, hit those mountain climbers, high knees, butt kicks, jumping jacks, whatever you need to do to get ready. Thank you for getting up on this Sunday morning. So beautiful outside. To get this workout in, you will feel so much better once you finish it, I promise. All right, in 10 seconds, we'll finish up this warm up, get ourselves ready. Now, one point of thing I wanted to note on the ground to overhead is typically two weights. You're gonna keep it in the squat with your chest up and then power through. Today, I'm gonna be using a med ball so if you don't have weights and you have that ball, that's a great option. Otherwise, Sarah behind me will be using the dumbbells. All right. So six fitness makers, 20 kettlebell swings, 20 ground to overhead, 30 rest and twists, 16 minutes on the clock. Get yourself ready. Thanks for doing fitness makers first. Yep. Six fitness makers, just six. Just six. I have to be really positive even for myself because fitness makers take me forever for some reason. They do too for me. So. <laughs> all right. Sean's all, Sean all can fly through them. I know. Okay, here we go. Let's do this all together. Six fitness makers, 16 minutes in three, right. two, and go. Make sure you're giving yourself about 15 seconds of rest. We got 25 to go. All right, coming up our kettlebell swings in about 13 seconds. Finishing this one out. All right, we got kettlebell swings, 20 of them in three, two, and go. So make sure if you're not able to get about 10 to 15 seconds of rest, maybe you take one or two reps off those fitness makers. That core braced, squeeze those glutes at the top. Nice work, 20 down, 20 ground to overhead coming up. And that's a lot of ground to overhead. So I'll count down that time so you can get ample time. That rep count for you might change. We got 10 seconds and we begin. All right, ground to overhead in three, two, and one. Make sure you're getting that good squat and you're not just hinging at your hips to bend down. Forty-five seconds.
All right, 15 seconds. Moving into 30 Russian twists coming up. As you get yourself set up for that Russian twist, keep that chest open, chest proud, hinge back, and 30, we go on the clock. Watch those shoulders, don't let them round forward. Twenty-seven seconds. If you are done. Enjoy this rest time because we're coming back to the top for six fitness makers in twenty seconds. So again, if you didn't get through all of those fitness makers, maybe take one rep off. You need to add one, add one on. But we are going in three, two, and go. We got 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, 13 seconds remaining. Whew. Kettlebell swings are on deck. Three. Two, and go. Ground overhead coming up, nice work. All right, we are on the clock in two, one, and go. Ground overhead, 20. Keep that form. Nice and precise. Squeeze those glutes, pull that abs in as you come up, protecting your low back. seconds. <laughs> nice work. Coming to the bottom of that second round with our Russian twist. All right, 30. Let's go. You got this. Let's go, Laurie. Nice work, Christina. Here we go, Kim. Have Sarah. 30 seconds on the clock. If you got some time, grab yourself a sip of water. 
Only two more times through. So really embrace those fitness makers. You're all right. <laughs> you keep selling that. I know. <laughs> Believe me, it's as much for me. All right, here we go. Three, two, and go. Thirty-five to go. You got this. Fifteen. Whew. Nice work. Moving on, kettlebell swings, three, two, and go. Good work, 30 seconds. You gotta keep that positive self-talk right now, especially when we're feeling tired, especially those days that this just feels harder than normal. Keep that positive talk going, just like a reel in your head. You will get through this, you will feel so good at the end. Keep reminding yourself. Nine seconds, you got ground to overhead. In three, two, and go. Let your breath help you. Big exhales. Thirty seconds. Finish this out. you go through these Russian twists are you able to hinge back slightly further so keeping your shoulders back hold that belly to your spine in your future and then we won't see them again today okay here we go five four three two and go Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, last 20 kettlebell swings coming up. Three, two, one, kettlebell swings. Twenty-five seconds. Nice work, team. Enjoy that rest. Twenty ground to press. I mean, ground to overhead. Three, two, and go. Thirty seconds. minute it's coming up 30 Russian twists in three two and go strong core You can use this whole minute to get those 30 in. Good work finishing that out. We are moving on to a 12 minute Tabata. So we have four exercises coming up. Bench top, tap squat. You're gonna rack those weights in front of your chest. Come right to the edge of your bench and then just a quick tap. So we're not gonna sit down on the bench. It's like a little hot potato. You're driving up. Make sure that your knees stay behind your toes. On the hop over, if you have a bench, you can make it low and hop. What I'm gonna do is place my hands on the bench and then bring my heels to my seat as I hop over for 45 seconds. Static lunge pulse, you're gonna hold on to a weight. You're gonna drop into that lunge nice and low and then we're just pulsing. First on the right leg and then on the left. So that glutes, those booties should be burning at the end of this 12 minutes. All right, so 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. <clears throat> yep, so bench tap squat, keep that chest up. All right, we are on the clock. 45 seconds of work. <laughs> Quick little tap. Core stays braced. Go let your knees roll in. 15 seconds. And recover, 15 seconds recover. That bench hop over is coming up. I said four rounds, this is only gonna be three rounds. All right, bench hop over is in three, two, 
And go. And stay straight on that bench if you're hopping over like me. Trying to really get that range. If you're not jumping, you can always step it over. Always have that sense of urgency. We got 23 seconds. You got it. Right. Keep it going. Even if you have to move it slower, that's okay. Just try to keep moving. Three, two, and recover. All right, so grabbing that weight if you'd like to. Set yourself up. Right side, right foot goes back. Equal weight distributed between those legs. You're just dropping down. Tiny pulses. And go. Oops. Stay low. Weight in that front heel. Back heel up. You need to set the weight down. This is still challenging without weight. You want that pulse to be small, that front glute and hamstring should be burning. 25 to go. Don't come up too high. Little up, little down. What are your abs doing? Are we letting them hang out? Zip them together, knit those ribs together. 10 seconds. Whew. Three, two, and uh, shake it out. Whew. We got the other side. Just that little movement makes such a big impact. All right, get yourself ready. Drop it down, stay low in three, two, and go. And you can make those pulses nice and slow, really, really savoring the burn. Check out your front knee. Is it coming in front of your toe? If it is, shift that weight back. You want that knee to stay behind your toe. 20 more seconds, you got this, don't come out. <clears throat> 10 seconds, you got this, do not come out of that pull. Stay low, stay low. In three, two, and shake it out. Nice work. Right back into the bench tap squat. Grab those weights, find the edge of your bench. And go. <laughs> so as you squat down, that weight should stay from your midfoot to your heel. I want you to think about if you had writing on your t-shirt during that whole squat, if someone were looking at you, they should be able to read your shirt. So don't let your upper body hinge forward. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, we're doing great. Coming into round two, bench hop over. After this, you'll only have one more. All right, we're on the clock, let's go, 45. Clear your mind and just focus on this movement. You can do anything for the next 40 seconds. don't have a bench, a great option is that jump rope. We got 15 to go. And recover. Nice work. Back into those lunges with or without the weight. Make this count.
All right, and we are on the clock. As low as you can go, and then you're just coming up about six inches from that moment, from that movement. Think about really driving your heel down into the floor. You're going to engage that front leg even more. We got 20. I don't know about you, but my back leg is feeling this too. Five seconds, stay in it. Three, two, and oh. take it out. Oh. Ow. I know, it burns so good. Whew. All right, other side, bottom of the second round. <laughs> we are on the clock in three, two, and go. seconds you've got this dig deep embrace that burn it feels so good we got six three two oh. and come out of it all this right horrible final round <laughs> horrible final oh. round then tap spot <sighs> And go. After this round, we're going back to your upper body. We'll have a two minute cardio sprint for max effort. Trying to get that heart rate at 85% or higher for two minutes. And then we go into some upper body work. Ten seconds. You're not coming back to these, so give it your best for the last three, two, and recover. <clears throat> Woo! All right, bench hop overs in three, two, and go. Twenty-five. <laughs> you got ten seconds. We got this team. Keep going. Keep going. Finish it out. Come on, Sarah. Five, four, three, two, and recover. All right. Right side lunge. These are our last two exercises in this. If you have not been holding a weight, maybe this time you grab that weight. And we go. Can you get that back knee a little bit lower? If you can't do lunges, squats, pulses are great. 15. Work through it. This is where we make those changes. We get stronger. In five, four, three, two, oh. recover. Dig it all out. Goes with that song nicely. All right, here we go. 
Left side, let's drop it down and pulse. You can always play with that tempo on your pulses. See how that changes how you feel. Slowing it down, speeding it up. Sometimes just that distraction helps you work through. We got 20 seconds. You got this. I know it burns. Stay in this. Just eight seconds. Hang in there. Three, two, oh. woo, and one. Oh my goodness. Okay, we are moving right into that two minutes of cardio, wherever you wanna to get to on that bike. Jump rope, mountain climbers, mix it up. We got two minutes on the clock. Trying to keep that heart rate about 85% or higher. All right. Already just 90 seconds, 30 seconds down. So coming up, we have an eight minute EMOM. Now this one's going to be a little different in that you'll have to do all three exercises in that one minute. So I really want you to find the rep count that works for you. I've given a rep range suggestion of six to eight of each, shoulder press, bicep curl, and tricep dip. If you are not getting 15 seconds of rest at the end, then you either shave off one each, do five reps, but challenge yourself to move quickly through those exercises, getting at least six to eight, 45 seconds. We got 30 seconds. Ten seconds to go. So again, the next moves are going to be a shoulder press bicep curl, and then you can come to your bench for that tricep dip, or if you don't have a bench, you can do a tricep extension. Right now, recover, grab a sip of water, and get yourself set up for this next eight minutes of work. All right, so maximize mark your time, keeping all of your stuff right close to you. It's shoulder press, biceps, and then triceps on the bench. Correct. Okay, yep. and, and you gave like you six it. to eight? Easy. Six to eight, so yeah, you can start okay. with seeing if you can get all six done, see how much time that leaves you. We'll do okay. eight minutes of this. So each minute is all three exercises, we got eight rounds. Okay. All right, we are on the clock. Let me start that over. We are on the clock in three, two, and go. We're at 45 seconds right here. Plenty of time. All right, so I had 24 seconds remaining. So I'm gonna up myself up to seven per. So you just do this three exercises and rest for the rest of the minute. All right, we're coming up back into those shoulder presses. 
in five, four, three, two, and go. Try not to let momentum do the work on those bicep curls. All right, 22 seconds to go. Finish it out. Shake those arms out. Two down, we got six to go. You're not feeling about feeling those lunge pulses anymore, are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go on the clock. Good work, Sarah. Let's go, Lori. You got this, Christina. Let's go, Kim. Nice job, Alex. Good work, Jeff. Nice dips. All right, coming up on our halfway point after this, we are halfway on, on the clock. All right, 18 seconds to go. If you have got more than 15 to 20 seconds of rest, then I want you to add or wrap in. 10 seconds, we begin again. If you're not getting that rest time, then shave those reps down to give yourself that rest. Let's get moving in three, two, and go. Yes, you start to accumulate. <laughs> Twenty two to go. Woo. All right, just three rounds. Big breath. We're back at it in three, two, and go. Ah. All right, just two more minutes of work here. And then we're moving into our final segment.
You got this. Work that rep range accordingly, whatever you need to do today to get your best workout in. Oh boy. Starts to feel like cement in there. Gotta keep mixing it up. All right, this is it. This is our final round coming up. We got 12 seconds. Last round and go. Come on, team, we got this. Finish it out, 15 seconds. All right, nice work. Eight minutes done. Arms a little wobbly. Okay, yes. so coming up, we got 16 minutes. Back into an EMOM, four exercises. So it's the dumbbell burpee. You're going to hold those dumbbells. And as you come up, so you'll just come down into that burpee. As you come up, it's just to a stand. So you can just keep those weights down. 15 push-ups. On that curtsy lunge, you're going to hold weights in front of you. It can be a static curtsy. So you're going to do an upright row, 10 on the right, and then switch it out for 10 on the left. And in that jump squat with heel touch, you want to have a nice kind of wide sumo squat. So as you come up, you're going to click your heels together. All right, 20 times. If you are not jumping on those, you can still come up and get dynamic by coming up onto your toes. All right. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> Everybody good? Yeah. All right. 12 dumbbell burpees, 15 push-ups, 20 curtsy lunge, and 20 jump squats on the clock every minute on the minute starting with 12 burpees let's go in three two and one <clears throat> Twenty-two seconds. Fifteen seconds right here. So again, give yourself enough time to rest. If you have to shorten up those reps, that's okay. Fifteen push-ups. Get yourself ready on the clock in three, two, and go. <laughs> Fifteen. Nice work. 25 seconds still, finishing it out, get that rest, 
20 curtsy lunge with the upright row. So you'll do 10 right, 10 left. You still have about 12 seconds here. All right, in three, two, and one. So again, on that curtsy, you want that back leg to step back far enough so your weight comes behind you, knees tracking over your toe. <sighs> 15 seconds, 20 jump squat with that heel touch, wide squat position, either click those heels together or you can come up onto your toes, still getting that dynamic work. We're on in three, two, and one. Nice. You should really feel those inner thighs as you squeeze together. 30 seconds. Start back up. One round down, we got three to go. All right. So 12 minutes of work left and you have the rest of the day to do whatever you'd like. Let's do dumbbell burpees right now on the clock. 12 of these. If you need to drop one or two reps to get your that rest time, do what you need to do. Still get that good challenge. All right, I'm getting about 10 in. If you're moving quicker than me, you should be able to get that 12. And push-ups. Fifteen. work so 30 seconds you can always add some more in or use this rest time coming up on those curtsy lunges all right 10 and 10 on each leg in three two and one Nice work bending through that back leg, driving up through the front. Twenty five seconds still remaining. 
that heart rate come down slightly. Get yourself ready for those 20 jump squats. Now, if you are getting those heels touching together, really think about squeezing those inner thighs as they come in and then popping back out. In three, two, and go. Or need to stay nice and tight to help you out here. There's a burner. Two rounds down, two to go. So right here in this last eight minutes of class, find that second wind, find that focus. Remember your goals. When we're tired, we wanna take it easy, fight that urge. We got dumbbell burpees. Three, two, and go. Thirty six seconds to go. All right. Back into those push ups. In three, two, and go. feeling Jeff it looks like you're in a hotel room or in a hotel is that where you're at nice we come with you wherever you go right <laughs> all right so we've got curtsy lunge at that upright row five seconds and we begin in three two and go Now, if you're finishing these next jump squat with heel touch with plenty of time, feel free to add on. You can come down and do a little pulse before you come up. I don't want you to miss out on any little bit. All right, jump squat with heel touch <laughs> in three, two, and go. So forty seconds. Whew. Thirty seconds. Final round. One more time through four exercises. All 
All right, get those weights ready. Dumbbell burpees coming up your last time through. In three, two, and go. Thirty-five to go. Finish this round out strong. Twenty seconds. Whew. All right, push ups coming up in three, two, and go. Thirty seconds. Pretty lunge. If you're taking that upright row out, you can always add something else. You can go into a lat raise. So you're getting a little bit of upper body as well with that. Just to really burn it out, fatigue those muscles. We got two minutes of work left. Let's go. Pretty lunge in three. Two and go. Twenty seconds, our final exercise of the day. So as soon as you're finished with these jump squat heel touches, with the time remaining, I want you to get down and give me some sit-ups, okay? So when you finish your jump squat, sit up till the end. In three, two, and go. Those sit-ups can be a plank. V-ups, whatever you want to make them. All right, 37 seconds. Your choice, get some core work in right here. We got 20 seconds. Finish it out, five seconds. Can you give me two more reps, wherever you're at. And recover. Nice work, everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause, a big air five to your virtual neighbors. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful rainy Sunday morning. Good work, everybody. Oh. How you feeling? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice work. Thanks. Great to see you guys. Can't wait to finish it out. Thank you, Jane. Bye, Jeff. Have, a, have, have a good, a good Sunday. Travel. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yep, you bet. Thank you. Nice work. Oh, no. No, 
All right, we'll catch us tomorrow at 8.30 with Sean and Tiffany, 8.30 a.m. live, virtual anytime. Hope to see you guys soon. Happy Sunday.